just a short video to go over how I will add archives in. So I have a uh, CFX master. Now this, I'm going to show how I fill this up and copy over uh, archives. So I'm going to go ahead and, and break this out to uh, four customers. So the first thing I'll do is I have to create new archives. Now I've already created any archives in here. So I'm just going to hit archive uh, four more times because I have to create both the customer one batch. Uh, so now I'll create the customer three batch, customer four batch, and so forth. So I'm just going to grab the name, uh, let's just say customer two, and I'll paste this in here and then I'll change this to now customer three batch. And then I'll do the same thing, customer two, and I'll call this customer three daily. And then I can do this customer four daily. And then I'll go to the batch and go to customer four daily. So now I've got customer four daily and customer four batch. And then what I'll do is start creating and setting up the archives. So the batch, if I look at the way the batch is set up here, it's now going to be a period. And I'm going to look at the period A archive module. So I'll click on batch. I'll say it's recurring. And then I'll go in and I'll say period A batch archive. The reason we're doing that is we don't have an individual customer period A in your application to be able to trigger that. Now, the other thing I've done is these batch archives, I'm going to save those for 365 days. Since it's only being created once a month, uh, it, it's, you've got plenty of storage. The dailies are going to be reoccurring. They're also a period, but this time I can select which customer. So period, uh, customer three daily. And again, I'm going to save these for 180 days. I know that you're bringing them in, but it's nice to have the, arc, the records inside for a little bit longer. You have the storage. I'll do the same thing for four. So I'll go to customer four, it's period, make it reoccurring. I come down and I select period A uh, archive, 365 days, and then customer four reoccurring, customer four daily period. I'll save that for 180 days. So now I'm just going to select my new tags that are in archive number one, the way that I've configured it up. We'll put that in three, and I'll hit paste. And some of this stuff is run specific, so there's nothing I need to change for that. It's all the underscore one underscore information that I need to change. So the way that we change that is just come up to the find and replace, type in underscore one underscore, and I'll change that to uh, underscore three underscore. And this will give me replace all. This will give me the replacements now, and this is for customer three. Daily, I do the same thing, or I can jump down since I already have this page, this uh, batch set up. I paste one into customer four, and I'll replace one with underscore four now, and hit replace all. And now I'll go to my daily, copy my daily, go to customer three daily, paste it, customer four daily, paste it. And then since I already have this queued up, I can just hit replace all. And then I'll go up to customer three and I'll say find what one and replace it with underscore three underscore replace all. All right. So that's got our archives set up. The next thing we need to do is just go into our display and I'm going to historical data and I'll go into run. And you see we have batch loading daily, but we also have over here customers for report, uh, is this in the reports? Let's see if these are reports. No, this is just data coming out. So I have to create up a historical data for my customers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one, and this is, you can copy this in historical data. You'll be able to copy this for your customers, um, basically from one application to another. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create a, uh, basically a, just a, a new display. So I'm going to create a new page, and that page I'm going to call customers. 
if it's spelled right. There's nothing special about this. It's just a folder. And inside of that, I will create a, I'll use a, an image that says archives. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and say it's recurrent. So that way for every module I have in the system, it'll reproduce this display. And now I can just right click and say, I want a new historical data display. And we can either break these down in customers by customer one, customer two, customer three, customer four, or we can break them by daily and batch. I, I kind of like that a little bit better. You can break them up however you like. Um, and I apologize. Let me create another subfolder underneath this. So what I'll do is I'll create daily subfolder. And then I'll come up and I'll select new subfolder and I'll create batch. So now we've got a daily, we've got a batch. I'm going to delete this real quick. We'll create the nice little select the icons for them. And now I'll go into daily and I'll select a new archive. So I can do it up there or I can right click and say new historical data display. And we'll call this customer one. And what I'll do is, again, just to shorten things up, I'll go and I'll create a new historical display. One, two. And three. Highlight those and I'll say customer two. Customer three. Customer four. Now before I do anything, I can copy these real quick and go into my batch and just paste them. Customer one. Customer two. Customer and customer four. Now if I expand this, you'll see that we, we haven't selected a template for it, but now we'll go in and select those new archives we've created. So this is going to be for the daily. So I'll just go customer one daily, customer two daily, customer three daily, and customer four daily. These aren't needed for the archives to be set up properly. Um, they're just needed if you want to view them through the web interface. So the archives are going to generate whether you have this display or not. It's just a, nice to be able to go into the web interface and, and pull up that display. Now, if I want to copy this display over to another application, I can open this application, and I simply have to copy this whole customer Oops, and I just screwed that up really. We'll get rid of that. But I just copy this whole customer and say copy, and then I can paste that into another application. And to give you an example of doing that, I'll just go over to, um, I'll bring up another application I have. And this is with the original blurb. So now if I wanted to put this information in there, I can go to my displays, go down to my historical data, and I would just hit paste, and now the customers are in there. Now I haven't created the template yet for let's say three and four, so you'll see that it's errored. But once we create the archive in there, uh, in your historical data for customer three and four, then you'll see that it's there. But back in display, so customer one and two are correct. So it won't let you download it if you don't have the archive created for it, the way this display is set up. So that gives you the historical data archives. The last thing we need to remember is after we load the application to the flow computer, and I'm just going to use the preview user interface here, we need to make sure that we go into configuration, overall setup, and common settings, and come all the way down and make sure that we generate both a loading archive and a period A archive. 
that they're turned on or else those archives won't trigger when a batch ends or when a period ends and specifically you're looking for period end. and uh, that's pretty much it we save this and write it down so you can read the application from the device paste the uh, paste the new display for customers in from your master and then go over to your historical data and I simply can from the historical data and I do a split screen a lot, so I'll, I'll bring one application up and the other application. So on the right-hand side is my master. On the left-hand side is my non-master. And again, I'll create those new archives. And so if I'm going to call this one my uh, my cus 3 under a batch, then I need to make sure it's recurring. That's a period. And that period is coming off of period A archive. And then I just come over to customer three, highlight everything, copy, and then paste it. And that creates that archive. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. And uh, we'll get the setup for you. So thank you.